Every now and again, you run across a guy who has truly found his calling in life. My name is Kerry Schwartz. I'm a custom saddle maker living in Salmon, Idaho. The fact is, Kerry Schwartz is one of the top custom saddle makers in the country. He started working in a holster shop as a teenager and actually went to school to study saddle making. But he got antsy. Quit college and I went to the mountains and become a mountain man and a trapper. Started working with horses and mules at 19 and already had the leather experience. Where the two came together, leather and horses, of course, is saddles. Saddles were represented the supreme challenge in leather. So when I found a home with this vocation, I knew this was it. This is what I was called to do. Bob Laux is a longtime family friend. He's owned one of Kerry's saddles for decades and was there when Kerry set up his own saddle shop in the early 1980s. He bought an old saddle maker out in Salmon, Joe Hoover, and operated right on Main Street for several years. It was a one-man operation. I had to manage his storefront and build saddles in the back. That was tough. That was really hard. Kerry soon realized that retail wasn't exactly his cup of tea. After all, he seemed to identify more with cowboys and outfitters than with shopkeepers and businessmen. I ultimately wanted to be a saddle maker. I didn't want to be a merchant. So I took the leap and got rid of the inventory and moved off of Main Street. His old storefront is now home to a hair boutique and tanning salon. As for Kerry's one-man operation, well, it's blossomed into a home-based success story complete with international clients and a robust web and social media presence. At one point in time, I think I counted up, there was friends and followers in 40 some different countries around the world. And that's, that's pretty cool. But if you set web pages and social media aside, you can see that Kerry has remained reliably old school in the way he approaches his craft. I'm a traditionalist in the sense that I like the forms of the leather, rawhide, wood. So I build my saddles in a very traditionalist kind of mindset. Leather to me is one of those unique fibers that's just been around thousands of years. It's authentic. And the smell of it, the feel of it, the quality of it just a fantastic medium. They've not been able to replicate that with any kind of synthetic material. To say that Kerry is meticulous would be an understatement. His shop is immaculate. The materials he uses are top grade, and he's very particular about whom he uses as his suppliers. I get my saddle leather from a tannery in St. Louis, Missouri. It's an old school kind of tannery. The hand tools that I use are all handmade. Some of them are over 100 years old. The round knives I get from a friend in Rochester, Minnesota. There's a lot of good saddle makers in the world. The thing that's different about Kerry Schwartz is Kerry is an artist. Most people that carve leather use a template. I've never seen Kerry use a template. Generally speaking, saddle makers don't consider themselves artists. They consider themselves craftsmen. Although I will say this, I would answer to both. Building a quality custom saddle takes time, and lots of it. I make between six and 10 saddles a year. I used to be in that 15 to 20 per year category. But part of it is I can't seem to resist the temptation to make this a little nicer. For example, the machine sewing and the hand sewing has gone from five stitches per inch on the horn and the candle binding to eight. Well, I just doubled the amount of time that takes to do that. 
So what only six to 10 a year? How much will a Kerry Schwartz saddle set you back? My base price currently is 5,250, but the best question to ask on pricing would be what's the average price of the saddle I make? And it's probably about $8,000. His saddles have gone for as much as five times that, or more. As you can see, they speak for themselves. But they also speak to who Kerry is, a man of supreme talent, strong convictions, and dedication. To me, it's how much do you care? To go from five to seven to eight stitches per inch, you have to care. John Ruse can attest to Carrie's character. He and Carrie wrangled cows years ago. He wants perfection, and that's the way he does things. And that's what makes a good saddle, is somebody that, that takes that time and puts his soul, his heart, into what he designs. John owns one of Carrie's saddles that he bought before Carrie became well known. What I like about my Carrie Schwartz saddle is that it fits me very well. I prefer that saddle over any of the rest of them I have, and I have about 10 saddles. As long as I can crawl on a horse, I'll be riding that saddle. I'm hoping another 30 years, but at my age, that may be a little, uh, a little hopeful. Trish Doughton is Bob Lauchs's daughter. Bob went in with Trish's husband to give her a Kerry Schwartz saddle for her birthday. Carrie got it done, I believe, in August of 2001. I've had it ever since. I use it a lot, probably four or five days a week. And it's, it's a great saddle. I love it. It's like anything. You kind of get what you pay for. Probably if I was a collector, I would preserve it more than use it. But it'll last me a lifetime, you know? Now it's time to trim this all off to fit my stitch line. Americans are starved for hands-on accomplishment. And saddle making is a classic example of that. To engage in something that's real, it's tangible, it's beautiful, it's functional. My number one goal has been to offer people an opportunity to enjoy the things that I create and give them a diversion, a distraction, if you will, from the chaos and absurdity of life. I think that's what I'm trying to do more than anything.